We did it. We did. High five. Whoop, whoop. If you want to know, <laughs> that's why I love her. <laughs> if you want to know exactly what it's like. Exactly or what our experience was. I want to say exactly what it was like uh, moving from Rotterdam to Hilversum. Uh, the challenges, and we had some unique challenges. Uh, yeah, unique challenges. Uh, what it was like. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh, and. Oh, yes. You want to know the answer to the question? In our last video. In our last video, you're about ready to find out next. On Soul to Soul Travels. On Soul to Soul Travels. All right, welcome back. And... Before we get going on this, uh, the question on our last video was, what causes uh, Tammy and Eric uh, to fight? To have disagreement or uh, differing opinions. Differing op to fight. <laughs> uh, so what were the options? Uh, how early to get to the airport. Yeah. Hanging Christmas tree lights. Yeah. And junk food in the supermarket. Yes, absolutely. And the winner on this one is? Christmas tree lights. Christmas. You do not even want to be around us. Yeah, if it was up to Eric, he would he would probably just throw them up in the air and wherever they land on the tree, then that's fine. That's where they are. Awesome. But I like to, like, each one goes to the branch and... Wrap it around. Yeah. So, oh, no, no, no. That's not, we got to do it over again. We got, it's like, we don't have to do it. It's like, we got to do it over I remember the first time. Oh, my gosh. It was horrible. I'm surprised we're still married. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so... <laughs> I know there were a few of you on the Christmas tree lights. It is hard to believe, but that is one of the biggest rubs between Tammy and I is putting up Christmas tree lights. Yeah. Right. So, but over the years, we have managed to uh, try to keep our hands off each other when we do it. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about first why we moved from Rotterdam to Hilversum. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, why we moved from Rotterdam. Yeah. Well, the main reason was is because our contract was ending and we couldn't renew it because it was a temporary contract. So yeah, um, yeah, we thought we would get a head start and we thought we wouldn't really have any problem finding a place. But after third party searches, such as like Funda, Parias, uh, things like that, mm -hmm. It didn't go that as well as we thought it would. No, it didn't. And, and you know, also one of the other reasons why we wanted to go ahead and move is hmm. we just wanted a slower pace of yeah. life. Uh, nothing wrong with Rotterdam at all. I mean, it's the first place we oh, lived. Oh, we loved it. We, we Yeah, we still love it. Still love it. Yeah. Love more the people over at Shebeg. Oh, I miss those guys with all my heart. I really do. Uh, but we wanted a slower pace of life, and it just seemed like... Uh, when you, when you were living in Rotterdam and you stepped out the front door of the apartment, it became rush, 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 rush. So we uh, ended up settling here in, mm -hmm. in Hilversum and, mm -hmm. and we're very, very happy with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But nevertheless, uh, it did come with some challenges. And uh, Tammy. Finding a place. Finding a place was. We got so desperate, we were willing to move anywhere in the country. And you know what? We're fortunate enough that we're able to go ahead and do that sure. because we don't have the jobs. We could move to the German border, we could right. move to the south, the northeast. So, and we're very fortunate and we'd like to explore. Mm -hmm. But uh, the challenges came is with, I want to say, Macalars and uh, some of the companies that we dealt with. Uh, right. Like, like the third party outfits, like Fundo or whatever. We Fundo would find a price. place. We would find a place that we liked and right. then reach out to the Macalar. And it's either been rented already. There's just a huge amount of people going for the same places, so you really have to... Supply and demand. It's supply and demand. Supply and Absolutely. demand. Absolutely. And you know, the way that they operate, and because we've never really used one before, no. uh, the way that they operate is uh, was new to us, and we would apply and we wouldn't hear anything at all. Yeah. We were 
somewhat expecting a phone call going, hey, got your application, hey, come on in, let's talk. Uh, but it's, there's a very specific formula for renting a place here in the Netherlands. A lot of them just wanted you to fill out forms, submit paperwork, mm -hmm. all your paycheck stubs, even before... If Yep. Things had to be in order before you could even be considered, which I understand. I mean, they just want to cut through everybody and, you know, it's, first ones in with all their stuff is the first one that gets the chance to go view the apartment. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just the way that it works here. Yeah. It's completely different in the United States. Won't get into that, yeah. but it's just the way that it works here. Yeah. Uh, so we were running up against some roadblocks uh, sure. what, because we don't have jobs. Uh, we have a pension coming in from social security yeah we have uh, savings that you know it's pretty decent um, but we came across uh, J&B Macalars yes after we reached out to another company um, expats on the move which came highly recommended and I'm sure they do a good job but not for us. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? I, I, out of everything that has happened in this move, this is one of the biggest disappointments for me. Yeah. So we reached out to them and they, they replied back saying, they oh, we're, so, we're looking so forward to working with you. So far, before you go on. Yes. So far, we have reached out. They replied back. Right. What's next? Yeah, uh, so we just, you know, we're happy to help you. Uh, we have, you know, here's a few questions. Uh, and then we answered the questions, Submitted. replied back, and they came back to us and she said, oh, sorry, we're full, but... We're not taking on any new clients. But, right now. but if you want help uh, reviewing the contract or coming in and taking pictures, or not pictures, but uh, the check-in process for right. the apart new apartment, right. we'd be happy to help you. Got well, time for that. Yeah, you got time for that. Got time for that. Right, but I just think that whatever we did, our budget, or whatever mm -hmm. they just didn't like what they saw plus were social security mm -hmm. you know um you know and that's fine because then we went to the expat fair we did go to the expat fair we came across j and b macalars check it out right here yeah I'm throwing it up right so now. we met we first met bridget Brid so she's God one of the her. owners she was great yeah. she was and then we spoke with anna, Mar anna marika mm -hmm. um they were both great and they're like yeah they, you know We'd be happy to help. Exactly. Uh, you know, it's we'll good. reach out to you, and they did. And she was honest right from the very front. You know, it, we had a Zoom call with her. We with did. Bridget. Yeah. Uh, it, it could be kind of tough. Might take a little longer than we thought. Good yeah. thing we started early. Yeah. That's great. And then she hooked us up with uh, Tom. Hooked us Tom, up with how, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Tom has just been, he bent over backwards for us. He searched for us whenever we would reach out to him. It's like, hey, we're interested in this. this we're interested yeah, in this. Yeah. He said, let me reach out to them. I'll get back in touch with you. Right. Uh, you know, next thing we know, uh, we got a place. We do. And we're happy with it. Very happy with it. The whole J.B. McElroy thing, and I am not saying this because they got us a place, because we would have gotten a place, uh, is their professionalism, the way they handled themselves, the way they reached out back to us. Mm -hmm. Like Tammy was saying, we were on group calls, we're oh, on yeah, WhatsApp we're, chats. Right, WhatsApp uh, group, yeah. Absolutely, so. kept us informed every step of the way. Sure, uh, and the whole process was just very smooth and it was great. Can't great say experience. enough about them, you yeah. know what? And again, they may not be for everybody, but I definitely think it's worth, if you're moving here, reach out to them, talk to them mm -hmm. and they're going to be honest with you can't help you can't help you uh hey this is what we need from you our light so, just went uh, out our light just went out Whoopsie. so but we're going to keep going we're going to keep going we are yeah just until well, yes okay. so <laughs> it is worth a reach out uh that's for sure yes so uh dealing with macalars mm, i don't know it just it was tough it, it was tough it wasn't a good uh experience wasn't a bad experience but it was an experience we just had to get used to how they actually do it here yeah and, and again we're re very happy with jmb macular so yeah very Thank very you. happy with jmb not so happy with expats on okay eric that's right, I'm, enough. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry okay that's all right enough. so let's go ahead and take a break let's move on to the next <laughs> subject the light. all right we're back we took a look at the light 
It's a goner. It's a goner. <laughs> you have to deal with this sitting in the dark. Or, yeah, there you I go. I don't even know if it made a difference. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the next thing that we want to talk about is the actual move itself. Uh, and we used who? Uh, we used easymoving.nl. And because I think the why? guy that we would... <laughs> because we don't have a car. It could have been so easy just to go back and forth with the car. We only had 10 boxes and four suitcases. We could have fit everything suitcases. in a van. We could have. Have, yes. So, but, and, and we did call other moving companies. We did. Yeah. And the, the problem is around here, apparently moving companies are very much in demand. Yeah. Very much in demand. Right. You probably have to book them at least a month out. And we were trying to book. To get what? the exact date that to you want. To get the exact sure, date that sure. you want. Exactly. Yeah. And we called a few and it's like, sorry, no. Hey, we got 10 boxes and a few suitcases. Well, we have your date, okay. but we can get you a. Excel. And it's going to cost, you know, an arm and three legs. And exactly. We didn't have an arm and three legs to spare. So no, that's for sure. Eric reached out. Excuse me. Eric reached out to Easy Moving. Mm -hmm. dot NL and, and talked to Eric. Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> and you know what? He did the. He. This guy was so nice, and mm -hmm. he was trying to schedule us. And no, all we have is this, and all we have is that. And he's like, well, what about this day? What about? The? And he was. And then finally, he just said, okay. So basically, you're telling me. You just have 10 boxes yeah. and a few suitcases. And right. he goes, I can get you in on the date that you want, but only in a few hours slot in the morning. And we're right. saying, that's all we need. Yeah. And the guy bent over backwards for us. And here's a picture right here. You can see this picture. We used this picture before in the last video. And uh, that's where one, I made one of my fatal mistakes. Oh, he left my bike behind. Yes. <laughs> we got the whole truck back up. Yes. And you can see Tammy's bike right there. Yeah. I forgot Unlocked. it. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, it was unlocked. Yeah, it's okay. It's yeah, still I get sidetracked. I was talking to the driver on the way over, and he was like, uh, "I said it's unlocked," and he goes, "Oh yeah." He goes, "Don't even worry. It's a goner." Yeah. <laughs> he goes, "Somebody's gonna pick it up." Yeah. Anyways, so uh, so yeah, we oh, we didn't actually get the date that we really wanted, but it was within that week, so yeah, we yeah. were happy with that. And the boxes came over beforehand. I think you have pictures of bef before. I have a picture. Here, here's the empty living room right here. Mm -hmm. And here's our boxes uh, in the living room right here okay. with our with our luggage and so forth. And then I think we actually came over a week later. A week later, yeah. we had to make several trips back sure. and forth on the train, which uh, was not too friendly on the budget with the uh, the train. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'll tell you what. You yeah. know what? I just got the bill uh, for my train bill, and I'll just let me just tell you this: it, it's over. 300 euros mm -hmm. uh, and Tammy's was very similar yeah so but again downfall of not having a driver's license uh, a Netherlands a driver's yeah, license exactly. sure sure so anyways uh, you know hiring a moving company getting over here was a little bit of a challenge but we worked through it again this we company was great sure so happy with them yeah so now we're moving from a furnished apartment mm -hmm. To an unfurnished apartment. Right. right. And so where did we get our furniture from? We went to IKEA. 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 Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Tammy and I are still married. Yes. Oh, goodness. We had 16 pieces to put together. Six. 16. 16. Yeah. Pieces. So if any one of you out there are in a relationship and wonder if it's going to last or not, put together some furniture from IKEA. Just test your relationship. Was, Karen said, I know people that got divorced for less than yeah, that. Right. So, yeah. But, so, so, yeah. It, it was good. It, it worked out well for it us. It did work out well yeah. for us. We were able to put it together. It took us a while to put together. We got a drill. Tammy's great at reading directions. and I'm I great just, at looking at pictures. <laughs> looking at pictures because there's uh, no instructions it's just pictures but they do a good job oh they do they really yeah, do yeah so very happy with what we picked out yeah everything from the bed to the, the kitchen island to the sofa to the lamp yeah it's, yeah it's just all worked out for us so. yeah absolutely so, no complaints there no. at all so it, it's been a little bit of a unique challenge for us because we had to travel back and forth you know we had to get most of it done in one yeah. shot uh, but we're settled in here yes and one of the, another challenge that arose is that we were used to uh, when we lived in Rotterdam uh, taking our trash down Good. however it is and just putting it in the container and the Jamente would come and pick it up and put it in the thing you know the big container she's doing awesome she is doing awesome now we now um, we have to separate it 
which is which is good I've got a we've got a little trash can that has three different bins so then we can keep it all separate paper plastic and I don't, uh, trash it's hard um, for me we have to roll them down to the the street level which is again fine it's just not something that we were used to we were, had the convenience of just going down the stairs and popping that bag regardless of what was in it this is what it's like now in, in this household Hey, hey, did you separate that? <laughs> did you put it in the right bin? Did you put it in the right bin? Yeah. Um, but not only that, uh, the the trash here isn't picked up like on a daily basis. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. there's like a month in between or a few weeks. For, for and, cardboard, I think. Yeah. And, and because of IKEA. IKEA? IKEA. IKEA, yeah. We have a ton of cardboard. We yeah. have a ton of cardboard. Uh, the, the owner the, was so sweet. And yeah, when we were yeah. about two thirds of the way done, mm -hmm. he, um, we loaded it, our cardboard into the, his, his van. van and he took it to the Fementi. Absolutely. The guy's Fementi. awesome. He is awesome. Yeah. So I think they only accept things like once a week, but, um, yeah. yeah. So it was, it, that was good. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've been biking more. Do you know what we did? Around we, the city and through the forest. The local forest. We got e bikes. Oh. Now, it was the first time I've ever driven an e bike. And uh, and we got a really good deal we on got, them. We got a really good deal. We wouldn't on have it. gotten them if, the, if that wasn't the yeah, case. Yeah, we, we got a really good deal. Yeah. And uh, riding an e bike, I can honestly tell you this once you go e bike, you never go back. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty awesome. So, yes, we have been driving around the, the village. We have been going through the forest. Yeah. Uh, it's it's so cool. just, um, it, it, it's been great. It's been great. Yeah. So, in. Uh, we went over to in, in exploring the village. Mm -hmm. uh, we stopped in at uh, Felix 2. I Felix think? 2. Cafe, F yeah. Cafe Felix, Felix 2. Yeah. And we ran into this guy right here. Uh, Ronald. 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 And uh, the interesting thing about him is he is a rugby player uh, for, for like 20 He was a rugby player for 25 years. Yeah, crazy. I'm going to throw the picture up there one more time. Take a look at him. Does he not even look like a rugby player? <laughs> I mean, this guy could squash me like a grape. <laughs> so I am just telling you, it was he was so nice yes. to sit down and talk to. Sure, and yeah. His friends came over and we had a good chat right there. Yeah. So it, it's it's been a lot of fun uh, just exploring around. Yeah, it has. Sure. Yeah, it has. So what else you got on your list of things I, I to think talk that's, about? I think that's pretty much it. We just wanted to go through our unique challenges that we that we came across. Did you have another number four? I don't have a number four. Four. I, you know, I was going to do a number four. Or there was. Yeah, I think so. Four. Uh, oh, oh, we were going to talk about the apartment. Well, we the talked size. about that. We oh, the size it is smaller than what we were at, but it it it's working out okay. It, it's good for us. It is so cozy <laughs> living it's with her. Cozy. It's so cozy. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, our move uh, from Rotterdam to Hilversum uh, was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, and if you're thinking about coming over to the Netherlands and you are renting a furnished place because we know some people that did rent furnished places and if you're going to move to an unfurnished place there are some unique challenges there as well so it's something to take into consideration uh, yeah. so that's for sure yeah you know if you've stuck around this long for the video <laughs> thank <laughs> you so you. much yeah absolutely thank you very much and thank you for your likes and thank you for reaching out and making sure that we're okay yeah sorry that we don't reply to everybody We've been, it's been a hectic it has, month. It least. has been pretty hectic. Yeah, for I think since like December, Jan. Yeah, November. I mean, it, it's just been nonstop. Anyways, crazy. so we're hoping to get some new videos coming out. Yes. Uh, that, now that we're all settled in, now that we've got the furniture put together, we're, we're good to go. <laughs> we're still married. <laughs> we're still married. Happily we're good married. to go. Happily married. Happily married. <laughs> so, from Soul to Soul Travels, we want to, again, like Tammy says, thank you so much for all your, your likes, your subscribes, mm -hmm. your comments. Uh, there was a couple of comments about uh, things to do here in Hilversum. We are looking into that. That's for sure. Uh, want to want to definitely do that. What was the one of them? I'm sorry. It, it was uh, a live. Oh yeah, on Saturdays they do broadcasting. I don't know if it's the radio or tell. I think it's the radio station. They. Let uh, people in. They let people in. Yeah, on Saturdays. Want I want to check do that. that. And, and yeah. Somebody suggested that, and we definitely want to give that a try. Yeah. That, that's for sure. Sure. Yeah. So throw some more comments out there. Thank you so much for oh. watching. Yes. A doctor. 
Uh, doctors yeah, are hard do. to find as well come across good doctors. So if any one of you in Hilverson want to recommend a good doctor to us, we would really appreciate it so we could check it out and see if they're accepting new patients and um, and whatnot. So yeah, because I got this guy right here. He may squish me like a grape. I don't know. I might need a doctor. So <laughs> you know these rugby players. Uh, anyways, from Soul to Soul Travels. Till next time. We'll see you there. Tut scenes. I'll do. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we?